Hello and welcome to Atomic Card. I'm Shadow Coast and welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to outline how to get past the medical wing without activating multiple plushes, ideally any of them. So I always like Access to granted. outline what I'm packing. Uh, just from a setup, you can see health potion or health, whatever we call nanopod thingies. Um, we have fire to attach to our Swede, which is mostly upgraded. We have the Dominator, which I've upgraded. Shotgun is helpful. And I have my Electro. So when we look at upgrades here, I'll try to make this quick for the blade, steel blade, working on fully upgrading that. Uh, we have round attack, fully upgraded. So we have that double result, double hit, which is nice for extra damage. Ergonomic handle. We've activated cartridges, but the next thing I'm gonna have to do is upgrade this a little further. The other thing I've upgraded is the Dominator, so projectiles, vector transducer fully upgraded, plasma storage fully upgraded. Um, shotgun, nothing to write home about, but you know, you can see not having invested a lot in that. Electrode, I've invested a little bit, but this is all kind of irrelevant because we're not going to use it in this episode. Please the other thing, the too, desire. I don't want to spend too much time on this either, is. Um, personal upgrades. So I am sporting shock, looking for that full contact, so it's basically my AoE shock. Character, focusing on bulwark. Got cell division, which is important for speed, and juggler, so kind of health and healing, along with some other stuff you can see. And then I am sporting frostbite, limited upgrades, uh, but just to slow them down, freeze them, which is nice, and then polymeric jet. I personally like it. If you're using polymeric jet, make sure you get mixture efficacy, a high viscosity is nice just to slow down enemies and group them up. Um, so there we have it. So let's go see if we can uh, do what I've set out to do and not fight any plushes. So when you come over here, the way this is going to work is you have to fill this chamber with water down here to be able to kind of swim. And the way you do that is you go in this room, kill a bunch of enemies, and then you see that little white thing over there? There's a little wheel. So when you turn that, after killing the enemies, you turn the wheel, this fills with water. And then what happens is you can kind of come over here, come up here, and you're into this room. You do have to do a little puzzle lock, and then after that we have the room of death, which is right here. So the reason this is the room of death is if you do this wrong and you shoot the plushes, or they take any damage, direct or indirect, they activate, and then you have a big fight on your hands. So we have a bunch of other enemies. What I like to do is I'm going to do a run through here to show you um, where the little wall sprout thingies are. So what I like to do or what I had success doing before is just running up to these, shooting them. Make sure you don't shoot the ploosh. Um, Kill all of these. There are a lot of guys. All right, so we've killed all those guys. I uh, do have double dodge. Double dodge is a must. If you don't have double dodge, I don't know what the hell you're doing. The other thing we're gonna want to do here. Um, oh no, I'm gonna run back. I screwed up. So let's go ahead and we want to be very careful. So wait until they get closer. And shoot at the ground. Do not... Do not let them... Get too close oh, to the... Shut up. The ploosh. We're just using kind of shock... To get them. I'm not going to use the shotgun. You can see it, they're kind of slowed down. Now, if you're feeling bold, you can kind of charge up, run out there, hit a bunch, run back. Oh boy, did not expect you to come in here. You got me pinned, I can't actually move now, so unfortunately I had to... Dead motherfucker. Wow. I couldn't get to his weak point because it was blocked, which is annoying. Alright. So, we haven't activated any pushes yet. Mm -hmm. 
now what we're gonna do is we're gonna run over here and we can do it the first time you might be able to grab the key and it's we got the key disc there you can see in the bottom left so I'm gonna kite these guys back here again kind of shocking them hitting them with the polymer jet I'm shooting the ground because I don't want to activate that bloosh I'm not going to run that risk the shock and slow deadly combo <coughs> All right, so you can kind of loot all this stuff. Now we're gonna run past. Enter the key. We just got past it and then immediately we're going to come over here and save. So that is how you get through um, the the room of death. The, I'm calling it the hospital wing. I don't know if there's another term for it during blood courier without fighting any of the pollution. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please drop a thumbs up and hope to see you in future videos. Shadow Coast out.